Our documentary crew spent an hour in the woodlands, following the elusive forest dog that we found emerging from his habitat. We found him again later in his home, at ease with us being so close to his forest abode. He soon led us away, and we watched him as he overlooked his territory. Here he sits atop his throne, constructed for him in this river by his pagan worshippers. The forest dog accepts sacrifices on a daily basis. He sees everything from his throne. Here we follow him in the corridors of the meadows, protected under the cover of the tree boughs. He must stop to smell the flowers and all other smells he encounters, for there might be a lurking intruder to kill. He also likes to eat grass. It is a good seasoning for when he eats the souls of his enemies. He must also eat the grass to maintain the pathways in the forest. That grass won't cut itself, you know. The forest dog prefers wide open areas to frolic and prance. At the end of a tiring day, the forest dog returns to his home in the heart of the woodland. Goodbye, forest dog.